when I have been told to make a four or five option slide uh, to show us some kind of infographic data, then uh, we use our favorite, uh, which the option called the smart heart in the PowerPoint. And this is how we made the slide. So when I click, it will show you option one, then the text, option two, the text, three and four. But in my presentations, I never use smart art. Smart art maybe is good for the beginners, not for the people who wants a real graphics or real designs in the PowerPoint. So instead of using this kind of slide, I have changed to something like this. I have just created one rope and with uh, here the four or five clips are there. And when I click, it will show you one information at a time with some images then this is second third fourth and fifth likewise i have created some more with some different uh, images or icons so here this one it is without any images i have used the icons here this is option one option two three four and five and likewise if you want you can just make it four options also so presenting the information is very important and conveying the message is also very important if your message is not been conveyed that means your slide is not good so let's see how to do this four or five options infographic slide in powerpoint add a new slide and i have change the background with one good image which I have downloaded from the internet. To copy the image onto the slide, you have to go to view, click on slide master and just copy and paste on your top slide here, the master slide. So here you can see here, I've just copied this image here. And once you have copied the image, just say close master view. So your image is already on your slide. So any slide which you create, it will have the same background. Now, go to insert shapes under rectangles, select a normal rectangle, draw the rectangle, maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and press ctrl d to duplicate this and change this color to some other color and just put it exactly on top of this and reduce the size a little bit size you can reduce it and then select both of these align center align middle now i'm going to cut this image for that go to insert shapes add one more rectangle draw a rectangle just rotate it and i'm going to cut this much area for example i'm going to cut something like this so only this area will be remaining and the bottom area i'm going to delete for that select the the gray rectangle and then this big one you can always use the shift key while selecting the multiple i have selected this then you can press ctrl or shift let me just press ctrl key and add one more here then go to format merge shape just say subtract so you end up only getting up this much shape only now you have got multiple options to use this particular shape either you can add an image or you can add some text or whatever for me in this case i'm going to add some image to add the image first select the shape right mouse click go to format shape under fill select picture or text fill so the moment i click this one by default it is selecting this one because the last time i have selected this image if I want to change this, uh, change this image, I have to just go to insert, say from file, and you can just select any good image from 
your PC. For example, let me just select an image of say this man and just say insert. You can see here his image is there now and if you want to uh, change the offset you can just first remove this tick mark rotate with shape and then you can increase the offset left right if you see here it is going towards this I can just move again right I can move top also and then I want his full image to be visible or face so then I can do something like this now once you have added your image if you want you can give some shadow effect for example I want to give a shadow effect under inner something like this so you can see here one shadow effect got created then I'm going to insert text box I will say this is the first option 0 1 I'm going to give a white font, put it on top, center align and change to some good font, make it bold and increase the size. So this will be my option one here and below you can add any text here, insert text box. So this text, I can reduce the size, make it again white or a light gray, justify and that's it. So you can see here my one full option or text box is ready. If you want you can type the title also here. So once you have done, you can use your mouse to select all all shapes or you can just press ctrl a to select all the shapes and ctrl g to group it now i have grouped this one now the next step is to uh, draw a rope for that you can go to insert shapes and you can select this curved so i'm just going to click it here first of all and here in the center I'm going to click one more time you can see here it becomes curved and again I'm just going to click two times here so it becomes a kind of a curved line here and again if you want to change the line width and all those things you can go to weight and you can increase the weight then shape outline you can go to dashes and you can give something like this and i'm just going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and i'm going to change the outline to some other red color and i'm just going to put it exactly on top of this so that it should look like just put it next to the blue so it will show you something like this here and then I'm going to use this particular image if you want you can reduce also by holding the shift key I can just reduce the size a little bit and this text also if it is go outside of the shape you can just bring it inside and then you can tilt a little bit here something like this you can see here the image also it is moving along with the shape why it is happening because i have unticked that particular mark so i will just maybe tilt this much size now i'm going to draw a binding clip to hang this particular option for that go to insert shapes under basic shapes you can select this trapezoid just draw the trapezoid something like this and you can change the color to some light yellow or something make it no outline and rotate it to flip say vertical just increase the size a little bit more 
and you can just put it here so let me just you can play you can just make it more something like this if you want narrow or i'm just going to go this much wide and then you can just press ctrl d to duplicate this and fill this with some dark colors so this area is going to go at the back reduce the size and just before that i'm just going to just bend it or rotate it something like this this much maybe this much and then this one i'm going to bend the other way and then just go to format send to back if you want you can reduce the size further so that it gives you kind of a 3d look you can see here let me just zoom it and so something it is something like this and again if you want you can add one more by pressing ctrl d of this reduce the size and just rotate it and put it here and give this also some darker colors or the same color i can use sorry the same color i can use and i can go to more colors make it more darker reduce the size further just align it properly so something like this you can see here uh, it's looking like a shape of a clip or if you want you can put one small circle also here to look more real again shape fill with some dark colors shape outline no outline zoom a little bit and put it here so you can see here the clip shape is ready so i'm just going to take this one and put it here so it looks like it is hanging now now my job is much easier now i'm just going to select press ctrl d this will be my second uh, option i'll just put it here i will change it to two and select this change the background to different color i will just go here maybe i'll just select this color and the image also you can just select go to insert from file and select some different image for example i'm going to select this image and again as usual you have to play with the offsets here you can see here something like this and once this is done just select this using the mouse i'm just going to drag and drop till here so that all this option gets selected and press ctrl d to duplicate it and bring it here you can see here this is my second option and then again likewise i will just select this press ctrl d and i'm going to add one more option this time here this will be three and i'm going to change the color to some different colors and then again i'm going to use the mouse to select these options only this clip once selected press ctrl d to duplicate it and put it here only thing you have to make sure that this particular rope or this particular the back side of the clip select both go to format and send to back so that it is hanging through the rope you can see here and if you want to give some shadow effect also you can add some shadow effect so 
so again you can use the same thing by pressing ctrl d and make four five six options depending on your requirement if you want to give some more shadow effect for this option i'm just going to select these three options under effects shadow i can use any shadow effect which is maybe offset bottom so you can see here and then it's time to give uh, animation effect so let me just close the format background i'm going to select this option first go to animations enable the animation pane and i'm going to add the animation which is fly in can you see fly in means comes from the bottom if you want to come from top you can just change the option so let it be it comes from the op, uh, bottom so i'm going to select this double click the animation painter i'm just going to apply it here for the second and then i'm going to apply it for the third and then just press the escape key now if i play the first option comes here and you can see here this is actually a, a kind of a gif file then again this is the second option and then this is the third option again you can add one more option which is the fourth option here that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye